This is all about Kevin Durant. MVP of the league right now. An elite score. Kevin Durant is different. Best score in the league right now. I got to protect my craft until I can't play no more. I can't stand when somebody uh, discredits like the word. Because it's like, I actually did that. Like, I actually put that in. Saying don't like take that away from me. He's like one of the best dudes that I've ever I've been around. You know, like he's up there, like he's just a good dude. Like the dude just want to play basketball. And uh, I always tell people, if you want your life to be changed, go watch KD work out. And uh, I had it like a uh, my bro, uh, close close friend, my god brother, and I brought him to practice. He watched KD work out. After the workout, like you see, like people eyes get teary. Like you know, they he just met Michael Jackson. Or something he was like, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. I appreciate you. Now he has a son that's like eight or nine. <laughs> he got his son doing all types of workouts and drills. I'm like, all right, don't be that dad. But KD was the cause of this. Like KD's seven feet tall. I don't care what the stats he says. He's seven feet tall, and the way he handles the ball and the way he shoots the ball is like nothing else I've seen. And like. Like, you know, I've seen playing step shoot, but every time KD shoots, the ball goes in the exact same way every single time. And it's like, that's just a different level. And it's just like, there's nothing you can do. Like you, you stand out of chance. And we double teamed and then practice one day. This is after, <laughs> this is after uh, all-star break. And when we just trying to get our rhythm back and we, me and Draymond are competitors. Like we trying to win. So the only way we gonna win is if we double team KD. <laughs> KD was so mad. I'm like, bro, do you not, do you not understand what we're trying to tell you? You're that good at that. But I'm like, you got two guys who are like elite all time in defense and we have to double team you. Like, don't be mad at us, bro. Like you're that good. Like relax. <laughs> but I think number one is KD, man. When I watch him play, it just looks way too easy. It's just unbelievable, man. Does he make this? Does we we talk about this with him a lot? But like, does the how easy it is for him to score? Does that ever even for somebody like you make you a little bit like envious that he can just do whatever he wants all the time? I think everybody feels like that, man. He's just I don't know, man. It just looks too easy. Like if you see him, you know you can say everybody can do it, but only he can do it, man. He just. Unbelievable the way he scores the ball. One of my favorite KD memories was playing him in the 2012 NBA Finals. And so I remember, you know, throughout the series, Brown and I would take, uh, you know, uh, times with guarding KD. Just give him some rest, I'll go guard him and vice versa. And I remember one game in Miami, I'm guarding KD. I'm taking every move and everything, every counter he, he give at me, I'm there. Great defense being played. He go up for the shot, I contest it. I'm talking about if his wrist is here, I'm right here. Like perfect contest. And he hits it, and he runs down the court, and very quietly he say, you too small. Finding room, gets it to go. Boy, he worked hard for that shot. Like, it hurt me in a way <laughs> that I could do nothing but laugh <laughs> because it was the truth. I was just too small. It was nothing more I could do. And like, he just said it so confidently and quietly, like, bro, you too small. <laughs> I remember that moment because at that moment, like, I was like, this guy is going to be, <laughs> he's going to be next level great. You know, I mean, we're in the finals right now. They're down, and he's just being him. He's just hoping. He's doing what he's doing. He's one of the best at it. So to watch him go and win two championships, you know, to watch him you know, go and do the things he's done in the Olympic sports, and to watch him become KD, find himself, um, however he got there, you love to see it. And so uh, he's definitely one of the greatest ever played this game. If anyone, if you don't know anything else about Kevin, you have to know that he absolutely loved basketball. Kevin will watch 10 year olds play basketball. Like he absolutely loved basketball. So obviously he's watching the game. So he just called me after the game. And we're sitting there on FaceTime talking about the game. Every time I, I played, I always had to guard the big name guy. Right. So whether it was Kobe or whoever it was, Damn, man. I, I would say KD the first time that I lined up against him, man. Dang. Just cause, to me, he's so disrespectful with his game cause he's seven feet and he can like What's shoot over mean? anybody. You know what I mean? So he'd be like, yo, good D. Like, what can you do? He's shooting fadeaways off one leg. Dribbling. And all you can do is look over at the bench and be like, 
Nah, I didn't Yo, feel, guard him. I, but Kevin Durant is the most consistent player we have in this game, arguably the best player currently in this game. And I just think he's, you know, he's starting to tune up. You know, JJ knows this. It, the, the, the weather gets a little nicer. It's getting warm outside. This is playoff time. And that's what you're getting right now. You're getting, you know, KD is turning it up. He's talking trash to people. He's talking trash to fans, getting fined. But all the while, he's still playing great basketball. So I'm excited for him because he, he never disappoints when it comes to the season or the playoffs. Who is By the toughest far. guy to defend? Kevin Durant. Mm. Okay. Kevin Durant. That yeah. was the one that I, I retired without really having to f being able to figure out what it is that he, you know, how I can Why? stop him. Why? Um, when he first came in the league, he was easy to defend because he couldn't go right and shoot. Mm. You should kind of shoot across his face. So that was a weakness that he had. Also in the post, he couldn't turn left shoulder. Everything was right shoulder. So that gave me areas that I could shut off. Mm. Right. And then he started developing it. Started developing mm. it. And now he can pull up left. He could pull up right. Mm. He can shoot the long ball. He has runners, left mm. hand, right hand. Mm. Before he had a left hand finish at the rim, I could always send them left, force them all the way to the basket. Even with the advantage of his size, he was still uncomfortable finishing with his left. So I could clamp the right hand mm. and now force him into tough situations. Mm. But now he developed that. So then I, I couldn't really figure out, try to, is this a rhythm thing? I'm trying to count the seconds that he takes to make his moves. When does he make them? At what times in the game? And I couldn't really figure out that rhythm yet. So I mm. retired not being able to figure him out he was he does stuff all the time where you're just like what is what how did he just it's just the and it's honestly the the stuff that's most impressive to me is like the you know dribble dribble like pull up mid-range where the hand is faced and just hit it. it's not really like like it is like the spin move like the tough shots like that that's all tough but he just is so unaffected so unaffected by any defender I have never seen a player be less affected by somebody than Kevin Durant. And when he was doing that, it was just kind of like you. I was just trying to figure out ways to like support him in a way because I knew he was tired and he was just like doing that. So, you, you know, like like in that when he hit that shot, I was like sprinting baseline in case. And that, I, I had fouled out, but I wish I'd still been in for that second shot because I was going to do the same thing. Yeah, I, when he hit that shot, as I just sprinted by him, like hoping that like if he missed, like I was down there for it. So that was like kind of like how I tried to like f support him in that moment. But you kind of just give it to him, and then you try to move around a little bit so <laughs> so that the other guys don't just double team him. So it's, it kind of looks like you're doing something. Yeah, yeah it's a fake hustle. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's the best way to describe yeah. it. You knock him down. You say something to him as you're walking away and eventually you guys are in each other's faces uh just talking trash to each other and there is a little bit of history to this as well because uh he had waved you off the court earlier in the season then you waved him off uh the court when you beat them in the next game you're clearly a sicko who holds on to everything yeah. in that particular moment what was the thing you said to him when he was on the ground that got him going I add to that, just like you said, uh, I don't forget anything. Um, I still remember Giannis sitting on our court a couple of years ago, so you got to get them back for it in the playoffs. But going back to this clip, obviously the history of, uh, you know, he weighed me the first game that beat us in Brooklyn, and then, you know, the second game, you know I had to. Like, we beat them, so I had to, like, tell him to uh, get off his court, uh, his home court. So, but in this clip, uh, you know, we talk about flopping. Like, I felt like this is a flop. Like, if you're man enough, like, if you get hit, don't flop. Stay up. So, uh, I don't really want to talk about what we say, <laughs> but it was something like, I'm still here. And then I'm like, well, if you stay here wet, then why would you flop? <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. But I, I love KD. Like, you know, I mentioned it so many times. Like, you know, like, I think I can do everything on the basketball court. And, and if there's someone else that can do the same stuff and better, that's probably one guy that I would think about. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, he's just so freaking talented and so good whether it's scoring the ball or whatever he's able to do on the basketball court so i have a lot of respect for him but i love playing with him he's always talking trash for no reason sometimes like he make a bucket and 
he's talking trash like that's just the way he plays like i love his intensity and you know knowing me i kind of you know play the same way and i love talking trash and i love and i love everybody uh i love letting them know that you know i'm here like you know i'm dominating you and you know that's just the way he is he's uh skilled for his size he can shoot the three he can dribble and he developed his skills over 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 time and he wants it so uh He's a great player. He's uh, definitely a guy that uh, you respect and uh, is going to take over his league here uh, once I'm done. <laughs> Drew, what was, the, what was the experience like of playing with Kevin? Obviously, you've played against him for so many years. Oh, my gosh. He's unreal. He's, he's, he's unreal. Uh, he makes the game look so easy. Nothing phases him how he plays. I mean, yes, he's seven feet, but... It's like he doesn't he doesn't see anybody. It's just like him and the him in the hoop. It's like cone drills. It's just if you're gonna if you're gonna just, just go work out and get into your bag and that's his game and nobody faces him. It's it's amazing. It's amazing to see. Is there a player out there that you're looking at that motivates you? Yeah, yeah. Who's Kevin, that player? Kevin Durant. Why? Uh I feel like he's next in the line. He doesn't have rings, so how's he motivating you? because I love the way he plays the game. This is a guy who goes out every single night and gives it his all. Durant fires, bang! Oh. Three-pointer for Durant. Back and forth between the two best players in the NBA. He's going to be one of the greatest scorers to ever play this game. But the way he plays, just so joyous and happy, and it's like, so he's like a kid back in Maryland. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel like when I'm on the floor, I'm a kid back in Akron, man. Right. I just want to play this game. What about Kevin Durant? What do you think about He's Kevin coming. Durant? Yeah. You, talk, you talk about these two and you're battling who's the best, and Kevin Durant is going to sneak in the back door. Oh, he came back one season, and it became the toughest matchup that I've had to deal with in my entire career outside of Tracy McGrady. Is it ever – do you ever feel – because uh, I was going to bring up game seven against Kevin <sighs> in, the, in the Nets series. I mean, you were in his shit the whole game. He was hitting ridiculous shots. And I'm thinking to myself, like, PJ's done this now for six nights, and you're going against, you're guarding literally the best offensive players in the world. And that night, I just thought to myself, PJ Tucker could not have played better defense tonight. At times, does it feel like an exercise in futility? Like, there's nothing you can do against no, the best players in the world. No, because if I, if, if I felt yeah. like that, then I couldn't do it. Yeah. Do you get discouraged, I guess, is a better question. No. Because it's like, okay, you, oh man, that was incredible. You made that. Now do it again. Now do it again. Because I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. And that was the, that was the, that was the conference, that was the confrontation. But we do that, dude. Me and him, like, ever since I've known him, we've done that forever. Like, it's, I'm, and I kept telling, I'm like, and we're talking shit, you know, it's like, whatever. But I'm like, he's like, stop hacking me. I'm like, I'm not going to stop. Like, as, like, we got face to face. I'm not going anywhere. Like, it's that, tricking myself because he's killing me like he's he's got 50 he's gonna score 50 i'm telling my teammates he's gonna score 50. y'all guard y'all man he's gonna score but how many how many how many shots is gonna take him how hard is he gonna i'm gonna make him work harder than anybody i'm gonna work him because he's gonna score <laughs> like and then you, i'm telling you have to trick yourself like you know kd is one of the greatest scorers to ever play the game you cannot play that way you know, if you go back and forth with a guy like that, he's going to score 50, 70. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, ha I just had a lucky night. And uh, at the end of the day, I was able to slow down and get to my spot. Uh, kept being aggressive. Historic, historic performance. I mean, we, <laughs> he played the entire game. He barely missed. Got to the line. 17 rebounds, 10 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks. I mean, 49 points. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous what he's able to do. I think the, you know, we know he's capable of nights like this, but to do it tonight, you know, we lose Kai, we're down bodies, we're wounded, and for him to have the toughness, the mentality, you know, that's what makes him one of the all-time greats. And so this is a performance that, you know, a signature performance, you know, for, for Kevin, and, uh, and it was beautiful to watch. Like, I actually had no question that it was a two. Yeah. I think everybody else was shocked that it wasn't a three. But the angle that I was at, I was like, no, he, that big toe was on the line. I was pretty confident in it. Um, 
Now the second one, the one in overtime, that one I was nervous. The one I was guarding him, because it was like when I turned to look, it was dead on. And I'm like, oh my god, like he did it again. <laughs> but he ended up missing, thank God. I'm not gonna lie, man. When he turned, I just kind of, and you can see my face. I'm like, oh my god. Cause I like to close that distance with him. It's like, cause he's so like, he's, like you know, he's so long, he's so he's so tall. Like you, if I can't get in his body and I can't really affect him, then he's like, it's nothing else to do. And he got that space. It was a great move, and I didn't have time to look at his feet. I really didn't. I'm I'm trying so hard to get there to try to give any kind of contest I can, and so I didn't know. All I know is when I turned and looked, I knew it was like it was. It was it. I knew it. I seen it. It was it was crazy. After that game, I was like, I cannot wait for it all to be over. <laughs> it was so like ment mentally, it was it was draining. I feel like you do everything you can to stop somebody and it's not working. And Kevin Durant is pretty much just like it's like this is gonna sound weird, mentally penetrating you. <laughs> <laughs> and like he's not any he, and he's not stopping and then physically oh oh my gosh physically it is i was i was hurting Every, i mean everybody was matter of fact you can see kd uh game seven like you knew he was tired you knew he was gassed but man we both teams left it out there that was after that series i'm like man look whatever happens after like we have to win now we we did too much and, and came too far Kevin's game was just unbelievable. Like, 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 he was unfazed the entire game. Like, he just, he was poised, especially in that second half. Like, he started to take his time. He started to get to his spots and kind of like, I seen Kevin directing people to where he wanted them to be. And once Kevin gets that, like, he's comfortable, he's in his zone. It's like, it's pretty, pretty much hard to stop him. A couple of days ago, you called Kevin Durant the best player in the world. Yeah. This, this was an epic battle. Take us through it. Um, I, you know, I said a couple days ago, he's the best player in the world. He's still the best player in the world. And uh, we know coming into this series that we have to do it as a team. We know uh, we have to guard him as a team. We have to defend the whole team as a team. We have to play offensively as a team, and that's what we did. Uh, we were able to come here, play hard, compete each possession, guard KD, James Harden as a team, and we were able to get the win. I'm, I'm happy, man. It's been here eight years. I've seen the depths of Warrior basketball. I've seen you know the rise and enjoy the whole process. I've seen us you know become a championship caliber and a championship winning team, and now we're in a position to do it again. So to help orchestrate that and to be in a position where a guy like Katie can see himself gelling with our our team, with myself on the floor, you know together, it, it's it's a special feeling. At the end of the day. Shame on you if you don't want Kevin Durant on your team. I'm a winner. I like to win, so I want Kevin Durant on my team. And and that's kind of that. Me and Steph, we could practice as many jump shots as we want. We still can't rise up and shoot over any man on this earth. So I don't think we need to include him in the Splash Bros to validate his talent and his skill because uh, it's pretty obvious to the human eye how good of an athlete, he, great of an athlete he is. You're a scorer like that, an all-time great scorer. Um, first and foremost, it opens up a lot of things because there's a lot of attention on you on the floor. And <clears throat> with the weapons that we have on this team, him being able to just never be in a rush, you know, that chemistry when we're all the way dialed in, it's, it's hard to stop. So, You got a guy who can get you a bucket just on his own at any time. When our offense isn't really a good flowing at all, we just throw him the ball. And it's, it's like you can get a good shot every time. He's almost seven feet with the shooting touch of a Dirk and Whiskey and athleticism like a Dominique Wilkins with handles, so he's phenomenal. My favorite KD story is the championship run when he walked into that three towards the end of the game and he, you know, he stepped right into it and hit the three and he just started turning around and walking. Kevin Durant way outside, delivers! Kevin Durant from downtown. That's the same spot in game three last year. Steps in front of him, yelling. I'm, I'm behind him, right in his ear, yelling. And he just walking, like nothing phasing him. Back to my rookie year, we're on a road trip. I think at um, this point, I'm coming off the bench. I think I was the second wing off the bench. I like get switched on to him. And so right away, I'm like, all right, I'm guarding Kevin Durant. Obviously, you know, freaking out a little bit. 
And so right away, I'm like, all right, I'm going to get in this guy. Like, I don't, he can't just baby me right now on TV. So I tried to pressure him and he loses the ball, goes out to half court. So right on, I'm like, hell yeah. Like this guy's about to pick it up. He's going to give it up. I'm going to be good. He takes, like, he catches it. He like looks at the shot clock. There's like six seconds left and takes like three dribbles. He just left hand, three dribbles, gets to around 18 feet, just hits me with a quick shoulder in the chest and just fades away, bangs the two. And as he's, as he's going back in defense, he's back penalty, just goes, welcome to the league, Rook. And so that was my first moment of like, God, these guys are just unbelievable. Again, you know, I'm guarding Kevin Hart. I think I'm doing a great job. He loses the ball. He's at half court and he just hits like the easiest dribble pull up on me. And that's not a, that's not a fun challenge. Um, but it's a, it's a challenge, you know, it's a challenge. Whoever's guard, I'm going to be guarding him. It's going to be, you know, tough to guard. And it's going to be, it's going to have to be team effort. Those kind of players, you, you just can't play, you know, straight up one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, team effort. And, and uh, if I get matched up with him, I'll, I'll try to do my best. Yeah, well, it was unreal to be able to um, have the conversation with Kevin about coming to Brooklyn and just to understand how much of a pure hooper he is and, and, and talk basketball with him. Um, it's but it's good. It, it, it's it's the game. It's um, understanding how how big the the game has you know gotten to around the world. But to be able to compete against you know him and, and others at that elite level on you know in a, in an international stage, now to bring that same mentality that I had that I'm sure he had for our countries now into the same locker room. I think again that purpose and that that driving force of what we're trying to do here and, and win another championship, it's its exciting for sure. I knew then, I knew he was a junior high school that he's the best player in the world. That day, I was like, why is he coming here? <laughs> he has no business stepping foot on this campus. Like he really, a junior high school, destroyed, we were, mind you, this kid's coming in, it's like, whatever, dog. I mean, he just, everything he does right now, he was doing it. He's passing half and like, I remember Lamar, he's like standing there like, Feet on the three-point line, he just like, as he pulled up, it was so much, it was like, I was literally looking at it like, what, hold on. Driving by guys, dunking, like it was crazy. It was like a video game. I always feel like I'm a student of the game and somebody who's experienced so much and played in different eras. I'm looking forward to him teaching me some more things about it as well. You, you feel like you still have more to learn? Yeah, that's for sure. 